Hey everybody! Welcome back. Northern Lion plays Monster Train. Things are going pretty well so far. We're gonna do a Umbra run. Um, I feel like we didn't ever use the Umbra morsel the way we expected to last time, or the Umbra champion, I should say. Let's see if we can maybe mix that up. It's a very standard run. Very standard run here. Um, love making a morsel. Ember Forge. Eh! And we got an Awoken. It is Alt Awoken. So we'll start with um, plus two and draw an extra card next turn as our bonus card. And what's the bonus? It's Plink. Yeah, we should know that. So you got Buffet 3. Got to figure out how to, how to make you work a little better. This is an interesting one. At the start of each turn, the front friendly unit on each floor gains plus 5. Super good for tanks. We don't have any consumed cards yet. So I'm like, you know what? Let, let's give this a try. It's going to make a lot of our early runs extremely easy. <laughs> Add this unit's blah blah and status effects. So the thing is, status effects, I'm like... There's gotta be some stuff that pogs there. Let, let's give this a try. We tried the other one. I'm like, maybe if I give you multi-strike? Maybe if I give you... I don't know. I don't know, dude. We're gonna figure it out as we go. But I will tell you for now, I am relatively unconcerned. Uh, because I think gaining 5 HP every single turn is going to work really well for us, uh, obviously. But what's weird is that I'm also like... I, I almost feel like the best play... Like, how much capacity is an Ember Forge? 3 plus 2? I think the best capacity is to... Or the best idea is to try to feed an Ember Forge. Which I know seems idiotic. Um... I think if we're gonna feed an Ember Forge, it's like basically a banner unit, right? So you'd want to put you here, we're gonna get you going up here, and you're gonna feed a train steward, and then we're gonna give you some extra HP so that when you get eaten, you give some extra, not only HP I should say, but some extra uh, attack so that when you get eaten by the Ember Forge, which by the way we did not draw, <laughs> but when you get eaten by the Ember Forge, you are gonna uh, enter Pog City. Or you're going to make them enter Pog City, at least. That's not what you want to see out of that, I'll tell you that much. Um, we're going to keep just making you stronger, because then when the Ember Forge gets out there, they're going to be that much better. Um, okay, so the Ember Forge is now doing some incredible stuff here. Uh, we wouldn't mind if you died. Okay, that's the kind of plink we're looking for. Um, now you're dead. So we can get... Would we rather just... You know, why don't you get some extra energy, and then I'm like, make you stronger, so that when you get eaten more times, you make the Ember Forge stronger as well. Also, the Ember Forge is going to heal for 14, plus 5, every single turn. Right now. Like, this Ember Forge is going to be insanely great. Our Pyre is probably going to take some damage, but what are you going to do, right? So why don't you, why don't you block a little? Not a great idea. You really needed that to hit the units at the back. But anyway. So this... Th nothing's getting past the Ember Forge. That's, that's all I'm going to say about that. Okay, there you go. At least, uh... I don't know. We might as well do some damage. Like, this Ember Forge is an amazing unit right now. And it's giving us extra energy every single turn. Yo, what is this? <laughs> he's like, he's about ready to pop, dude. Anyway, we have a 2062 out there, and we're also going to gain 5 every turn, so that's pretty good. Might as well have you up here. I mean, might as I mean, there's no reason to do this cuz this unit is dying, but like why not, right? I mean, 2062 is really good, but at the end of the day, we would rather have our our champion get eaten a little faster by a banner unit. Uh, a banner unit that's that's good particularly. Um Honestly, I feel like Mind Collapse with Ember Forge is an interesting combination. Uh, and I, I really feel like energy is not that much of a problem, so I'm, I'm actually going to go a little heavy. I'm going to take a Wake early. And then an Umbra unit would always be nice. You always like to see an Umbra unit. Uh, one good Gorger can, can win you the run. Uh, it's tough. I think Crucible Warden is pretty good, though. Sorry, there's a lot of cat hair flying around. I'm always going like... 
Then we gotta get him groomed, but we gotta make sure the grooming happens before the child arrives. Otherwise, it's not like we're gonna be like, oh, we got a baby, let's get the cats groomed. You know, you got an order of operations. And regardless, okay, you don't care, you don't care. It's a very tough choice. Like, this could define our run right now. I know we said we don't have energy problems. I feel like it's it's close, and I feel like maybe it's a little bit better. Um, now, I will say, let's make you slightly more playable. Plink actually working and then being removed is going to be pretty sweet. Um, and then plus 10 magic power on Mind Collapse is, is really just the classic kind of like wombo combo setup there. And then uh, making a morsel cheaper is... is let me rephrase. Making making a morsel cheaper is always going to be great for us because that's an amazing morsel. I think we can totally turn this on, but we got to be careful because we, we are getting to the point where we have too many units. Um, which is not good. Because if we have too many units, uh, we, we can't fit our Ember Forge anywhere. So I do think Crucible Warden with Primordium makes the most sense. We definitely like that. Oh, you have an encant trigger, but that's still that's still good. Um, and we definitely want you to eat this as well, because you're just going to get stronger and stronger over time. We picked right for once. <laughs> you do have an encant trigger again, but that's okay. Um, so I think we definitely like awake here. We got to be careful with our encants, of course. Honestly, I'm like, okay, for zero, sure, no problem. And I'm like, this does 9 plus 10 on Slay, you get 2. We don't want to spend everything, so it, we'll do it like this instead. This is still going to do 3 plus 10. We could use one more energy. I know it's an Encant Trigger, but it's going to make this guy stronger over time. Then we play this. Now you're dead. We get 2 energy remaining. I think we still buff you because it's going to really benefit us over time. No reason to summon you here just to get killed. We'll get you next time. Then we sort of got this one figured out right now. Um, we do want an Ember Forge out there. It's plus two energy per turn, and you're not going to die on turn one, which is, is wonderful news. Although I also don't expect you to be that good, uh, you know, over time. Who do we want to eat here? You're about to get eaten, like, for good. Um, I don't really care to keep our Ember Forge alive longer. It's probably going to end up eating anyway just by, like, necessity. I mean, why not have you... I mean, you could just block a hit instead, but... Hold on. Hold on. Plink is an interesting choice here. I mean, if it hits... The... If it hit the archer, I would have considered it acceptable. It didn't. Um, but that's alright. Okay, you got sweep, which is spicy, but you're not doing anything, which is pretty slick. <laughs> so I think we'll just let this one go. Um... It's good, it's good. You know, it wouldn't be the worst idea to get some extra damage shield somehow on our, um... Or not damage shield, some extra status effects on our champion. Do we need more cells? I don't think so. Um, Immortal Trait is a status effect, but we don't want Ember Drain to come with us, you know? So it's interesting. I certainly feel like that's kind of part of what we're looking for. Right now, we don't suffer for finding a way to make more morsels, so I, I kind of think this is a skip, but it's going to be a controversial skip. I acknowledge that greatly. Um, razor Sharp is very interesting. Certainly because they gain 5 HP every turn, I think you could definitely apply it. And being able to apply it to your, uh, your champion means that every time they get eaten, it's going to apply even more uh, damage up to the unit that eats it, which is really good, but... Just thinking. Just thinking. Because Ember Forge takes up four, right? No, it takes up three. So we have one floor, which is... Train Stewards. One floor, which is... Ember Forge, plus something. And then one floor that's... The Damage Shield, Gorger, and our Champion. So we can't take the robot. We can't take anything that gorges to go... Well, no, we could we could set up one more floor. It's just a question of whether we have enough morsels to make it. I, th I think we got it. I think the robot is our play. Even though I, I know I said earlier that it might not be. 
And the, and the next step is you just remove the train stewards. So I don't think we want to dupe anything right now. Although, honestly, duping a razor sharp edge is kind of interesting. Um, I think we want a relic because there's there's really good potential. Like th that's it right there. Gorge abilities triggering twice is so good with our champion as well. We don't want anything here. We would love some removal. Like removal is king right now. I definitely feel like I would rather get a gift of gratitude. Um, which I don't think gets better over time. But I think we can find a way to play this and get a, a bunch of gold out of it, then get it out of our deck, which is just a nice boon. Alright, so this this is going to be interesting. I think this is maybe like the peak of our vulnerability for the time being. So what are we drawing early? I, I'm extremely tempted to play the robot on the same floor as Primordium. That's where I'm at right now. I think we should do it. Something like that. And you're just going to get insanely strong. I still think we also should get a Crucible Warden out there. Basically just to be in front. And we need the Ember Forge at the top. Alright. So I, I support this for now. Although I recognize that our, our Overgorger is in a very... Or our, sorry, Crucible Warden is in a very dangerous position. So, you're doing great. You're all dead. That's wonderful news. We want to buff our champion as much as possible. You do have an encant trigger, so we're going to be careful with that. We need to buff you as much as possible. A couple ways to do that. This is a, a big one, because then as you eat, you're going to get so much stronger over time. But I do also want to keep you alive. <laughs> you're taking quite the hit right now. So hear, hear me out here. I, I do want to... I think this is how you play it, okay? I, don't play this on a floor with an encant. I think we do make sure you're eating. Um, but then I think we just put a train steward here to just ta tank a hit for us so that you get stronger. We don't play awake. I wish we could, but we really need the Ember Forge out there to make that plausible. Um, so this is going just fine. You're still doing great. Any way we can buff you is always going to be good for us. We The Ember Forge is non-negotiable. In my opinion. Um, honestly, Plink is kind of tempting here. Just a question. I think you definitely you'd sting down here. So you could play Plink and Root Seeds, or you could play Making a Morsel, which is insanely great. <laughs> It really is quite good. Um, I think I think we're better off playing just a, a default making a morsel because it's going to do so much for our, our robot. Our robot needs morsels moving forward. They do have six fuel, which is really nice. But uh, you, you got to be a little careful with it. So we can play a mind collapse for zero. That's that's super good. Um, we definitely Root seeds work super well on the robot. That's obvious. You're going to play Plink. It didn't hit the units you wanted to hit. Life goes on. Uh, as far as this goes... We want to keep a lot of space open, so I think we can put a train steward, like, I, you know what? We'd be better off putting a train steward at the front, probably, but it's not that big of a deal. And then here, I'm kind of in the same boat, actually. 3-5. Yeah, kill kill this train steward, please. And then we'll, uh, we want to keep you alive, actually, so that you kill the train steward. So we'll just uh, ice you for essentially no reason. Um, one wave remaining. So you're doing great. You got nothing to worry about here. Um... I honestly think this is where... It's a little dangerous, but I think just getting 200 gold is, is a decent turn. Razor Sharp would have helped. Is more The question is not which is the best card to play. The question was what's the best way to like handle this turn so that we, uh, we stay in front of things, you know? Why are you dying without anything happening? Like, why are you not taking... Oh, because you get five every turn. Okay. So we don't have any encant triggers to worry about. So you're definitely going to play Making a Morsel. Um, it works fine here. It works... It works really well here, too. Because you get a damage shield. I think you play it here first. Now you're taking 90 damage. That's good eats. Now you're taking 180. We got another Morsel. That's good stuff. You do have fuel. Forgive me, I'd like to give you a little more. Even though it would help down here as well. Uh, and then a little... 
Nine damage. A little train steward at the front should make it a little better. Keep in mind, the only reason, in my opinion, that things are even as tricky as they are right now... Well, first off, all of our units are base level. So there's something to consider. Um, but then secondarily, even like on top of that... Um, we, we took one turn off just to get gold. And it worked out totally fine, so I feel completely vindicated. There's a lot of interesting stuff here. Like, Blazing Bolts is very interesting. I still don't see Kindle, unless we can save our energy turn over turn. I don't see Kindle being that good. Uh, Shroud Spike is insanely very good. Um, I, I think that's our play, even though Blazing Bolts is also amazing. And then here, we just can't really afford to fit another unit, no matter what. So I think that's an easy skip. And then, energy is not really a problem. It's definitely draw or capacity. Uh, and I think we haven't faced a capacity problem just yet. So believe it or not, I think it was very close between those two. And I think capacity could have been the play. But I'm happy with how we approach this. We, we have to go this way. I probably don't want a unit. I don't want a unit. Um, what I do want to do, we got to start cutting these stewards out of here. And I think this is really where this deck could start to, to could start to pop. So buffet more or add damage shields. Uh, I think buffet more is going to be better for us than just getting... Well, no, because it's going to give you two damage shield per turn. Which is actually going to be four damage shield per turn because it's it gets two triggers. You know what? I, I think mixing and matching here is interesting, but let's try to let's try to explore that design space of how to make the um, of how to make it work a little bit better for us with the status effects. So endless is not relevant. So we know we want to reroll probably there. I would say you benefit from having a better um, enabler, like a, a better gem, and similarly here. But I would say probably. You could benefit a little bit from this, just to give you more leeway to get yourself established. And then we'll go for a reroll. And a large stone is interesting. So if we put you... You and the champion can still fit on the same floor. So we will give you the large stone. And then I think we're gonna, we're gonna go a little purge heavy here. Train Stewards leaving is, is insanely good for this deck. And it's getting real tight, dude. We're in a 21 card deck. Um... The Ember Forge is still good. The, the Plinks are not good. The faster those get out of our deck, the happier we're going to be. Then I'm, I just got to think. Spikes 4. I don't really care. It's not that bad on like an Ember Forge, for example. And it would wipe out a lot of units early on our Crucible Warden. You know what? We've never done it before. It's, it's interesting enough that I'm going to give it a try, but I want to save another uh, great upgrade for our robot if possible. Keep in mind, that's the first time we got to upgrade any units, I think. Non-boss enemy units restore all health when they move up a floor. This is like, I, I hate to say it, but I think this is one of the times we just can't make that happen. You got 95 HP and you're going to have haste. I think I, I would love to turn it on, but our pyre is actually kind of in a weird spot because our first fight didn't go very well. I think, you, I think this is what we got to do. So we love having a robot and our champion on the same floor. Uh, I Here's what I'm thinking right now, okay? I think you can definitely do... This. And this. So we love that. It's great stuff. Plink is interesting, but I think the Ember Forge early is a little bit more valuable. Let's see how this goes. How are you getting hit for three? Oh, because you have no fuel because you were dazed. I, okay. So it's not amazing, obviously. Um, but you got to do what you got to do now. You're not dying to anything right now. This is important. Uh, mind collapse on you just to slow you down for a touch might be sensible. Um, six, seven, one. We can definitely summon you to get a hit in. And then, quite frankly, I'm like, do it. Wait, okay, so what's your thing? Cut you. Cut you, we don't really... I mean, if we cut you, our pyre is not going to take very much damage. I still, though, I'm like... Even though this is going to minimize Shroud Spike, it's going to make all the eats that much better. Um, so I think you want to Mind Collapse you, which will pay for itself. And then... You're a Morsel unit. 
Like, get over it. You're a morsel. Can't use it on you. All right. Well, that's... I still think the Shroud Spike is, is worth it, but... Admittedly, I kind of thought it would wombo combo off of our champion. So we definitely don't need more draw. That That's clear. Um, I think we got to focus on getting our robot powered up, which would mean razor sharp edge is nuts. Um, and then we can put more morsels up here in the future. Uh, mind collapse, we, we can play for zero, so we can wait on that one. Making a morsel is always going to pog up for this guy. Um... I think, I think Awake is worth playing. Uh, you know what? I don't think it's worth playing if you could just play another Making a Morsel instead. Just work with me here, okay? You're healer. You're, we're, we're definitely going to kill you so that they have to go through one extra floor. Ember Forge is doing fine. We don't sweat it at all. So we get one extra energy to play one more thing first. I think uh, Root Seeds makes the most sense. Then we'll Mind Collapse you. We get two extra energy. Awake is still good. Plink is unlikely to do anything. I, I, I think you probably put the regen on just to keep this guy pogging. This, this is good. This is very good. So check the fuel on the robot real quick. He's got four, which is not as much as I would like. Um, but realistically, there's a pretty good chance for Plink to help us out. I really appreciate that it didn't at all. Uh, thanks a lot. Um, you guys are not going to skip a floor, which is wonderful news. And again, Shroud Spike is completely worthless, but Root Seeds is pogging, so, so there's that. I still don't think we need more ways. Eh, maybe we do need one more way to get morsels. It's just, it sucks when you get your making a morsel on like the same turn. You know what I mean? Um, so this might be, a, you're, you're already doing fine. This might be a really good turn to just get like a making a morsel. And then I'm, I'm honestly quite tempted to just shroud spike the crap out of this thing. Uh, I, I would say razor sharp. I don't know, it's tough. I, I, I actually think you just go straight into it. It'll take you up to a 113 by 2. Plus, you get the extra uh, life out of it, obviously. And the extra fuel out of it. Yeah. I mean, you're, you're pretty pogged now. I'd put you in the in the annals of pog. Alright, so this... Maybe we could have survived the, the trial. Uh, but also keep in mind, the champion is almost dying, like, without anything happening here. Which is really good. Uh, or without it being on our major floor, I guess is what I mean to say. So I think we want to play everything. We can just play everything. We can play Mind Collapse for zero at the end. So we'd plink and hope it hit you. It didn't. I think you get the Razor Sharp no matter what. Because our Ember Forge is not doing anything for us. So you, you don't need to... <laughs> you don't need to prioritize the uh, the Ember Forge. Uh, or, yeah, let, me, let me rephrase it again. You don't have three floors of leeway for the time being. You have two floors of leeway. I suppose, you know, now that I think about it, we could take one two-cost unit and put it behind here. The odds of that happening, though, are, are insanely low. Because um, we're, we're past the point where that's going to be likely. Might as well just pog you. Alright, so you're... you're more toasted than you can even imagine right now. And and you know as well as I do, you know what would work really well on this robot? If it gets quick, we essentially have created like an overgorger for ourselves. We definitely do not need another Ember Forge. Um, I think all of those are not what we want. Uh, none of these are that relevant either. Even in Graft, like we're, we're going to get pretty close to max draw. We could probably afford Cycle of Life, but does it make our deck uh, consistently stronger? I would say I don't know, and that's not good enough right now. So, what about spells? I think our spell upgrades are honestly pretty okay. I, I like the idea of a free relic. We really only consume two spells. But that's, like, kind of enough. <laughs> Plus 15 damage is also really, really good. But even just gaining, you know, 5 to 10 pyre health per fight would, would get us to a point where we'd be pretty pleased, I think. And we could get 15 armor um, on our pyre. I honestly think I'd, I'd be better off just saving here, quite frankly. But I think we got a good thing going. I think I think we figured it out. Enemy units enter with armor 15. Should be very doable with a robot that's getting pogged out of his mind. I, 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 like, I like where we're at. So, we know we're going to want a robot. And we know we're going to want our... Morcel behind it. Sadly, 
still does not work, but that's fine. Um, so you got 16 HP. This at least will give us two more energy, although it does make you stronger. We can't fit anybody up here, which is bad, but we know we're going to want a Morsel Miner nonetheless. I don't know. We could play an Ember Forge in front of it. <laughs> Or we could set up our lifesteal on this floor, but I'm like, I don't know, man. I feel like maybe getting the Ember Forge in front of it is not that bad. Spikes 4 is going to do some work for us here. This this is a bit strange, for sure. I think you definitely, without a doubt, you want Ember Forge out there. You want the extra energy for the future. We, we definitely also want Crucible Warden out there. There's 14 damage. Not that big of a deal. Spikes are going to be quite helpful. So with one extra energy... Personally, I would play it here, and we're fishing to get the Collector, which is exactly what happened. Um, and then we can get some free energy for our next turn. We still have a Sting, which fits way better on you, I think. Because we got a couple turns of Hangover Days up there. Um, you're doing great. You're dying, which is suboptimal. Um, but we have so much energy. Oh my god. Okay, so Razor Sharp goes on you to make you that much stronger. That's that's a gimme. 444, four, four. so you're taking um, 20 damage. So you get the Awake for certain just to stay alive. And then you're going to pog out with this. But then it's just a question of... Okay, so 12... You're going to do 12 damage even if I do kill some of you. Maybe it would be better to keep you pog in, but... I'm, I don't know, maybe like to weaken you is a little bit better. Our Ember Forge will not live for a long time, but it should be completely fine as long as our other units live. Um, so there's a couple gimmies here. Like, I think weakening these guys as much as possible is still a gimme, even though it might look a little fricked. Um, and you know you're going to want making a Morsel. You're still doing great. I'm not sweating that. And you could Shroud Spike the crap out of making a Morsel. But we need one more unit. I, you know what? I actually think you do. I think you do it right off the bat. It gives us 40 damage up. And now you're like, what now, smart guy? You also have 20 fuel, which is pretty good. All right, now you're, you're not dead? Are you kidding me, man? You live with 3 HP. All right, well, guess what? Take one of those and call me in the morning. And then I'm like, well, I got really nothing else to offer. Take one of these and call me in the morning. Multi-strike cannot kill huge waves, like wide waves, so we need to find a way around that particular problem. But everything else is, like, pretty good. So we can play um, Mine Collapse for one is is good eats. You're doing fine. Um, so m Morsels down here is also pretty valuable. So we want to get Mine Collapse for one. You're doing great. I don't. We don't need to keep you alive. You're not even taking damage this turn. So you're going to get that. Um... This might as well try to weaken you a little bit more. Mine collapse for one. So, I would say we're, we're definitely going to want some morsels coming down. At which point we would probably then do root seats. At which point we would mine collapse for one. Giving us two energy. Two units are still going to make it. And there's, there's really nothing we can do about that. Um... I think we're going to put our Morsel Miner down here. It does more for our robot, but uh, we're going to get we're gonna draw it more often. I mean, we only have 12 cards in our deck right now that we're drawing, and we're drawing 6 per turn, so we, we get a lot of value out of it. Sweep means there's no real point to summoning Morsels down here. Um, but if we Morsel Mine for 2, it pays for itself and kills you. Do we want you to die? You are going to make everybody else stronger. It's actually better if you don't die. So we can Morsel Mine for two up here. We definitely want to hurt you. Yeah, there's not much we can do about that one. Um, instead, we're just going to keep our robot pogging up. We know our Ember Forge is highly cursed. <laughs> and now that I'm like, hold on. You can, you, play it for, you can get one more energy out there, so we're going to do that. Then you can play this for one. You are still going to make it. Our Pyre is going to take a little hit, but just a little hit. The lifesteal is pretty bad here, too. But we did I think we purged all lifesteal but one. 
So then you're okay. That's fine. You're gonna heal for six here. We we really like couldn't care less. Um, we could keep you alive longer, but no, it, I don't think it's a good play. Play that instead. Um, so making a morsel is like always great for us here. Razor sharp is just like disgusting. Now the downside right now is you only uh, you're still gonna get the kill. Okay, so never mind. But without any life steal, you're not taking out an enemy that has like twelve thousand HP. They certainly do not need another Ember Forge. I would say Crucible Extension can work for us, and we're gonna get it like fast. I actually, we don't need to draw more next turn. You're gonna, you're gonna overdraw. It does heal our pyre, but for now, I think we're okay. Upgrades, deepening the deck. These, these are good decisions. Um, now, I, I want the pyre health. Don't get me wrong, but we have such a good opportunity to get our spells like insanely good here. The shroud spike was was very. Essential in my opinion. Awake, we don't need a double stack on it. Just being able to cast it more often is super good. Mind Collapse is, is Pog City already now. Now we do have the opportunity for double stack. <laughs> um, you know, making the stings better is pretty good. Sure. I don't really want to... Uh, and we'll make that one cheaper for sure. I don't really want to pay 150 to remove a card right now. Especially when we have removal right next to us. Um, what would I remove at this point? I like a lot of what we have, but the root seeds are, are inessential. We would rather draw other stuff. And we're very quickly, by the way, with 17 cards, two of which have consumed, we're very quickly getting down to, like, uh, an extremely tight setup. Like, this is a tight deck. Uh, we would... Rare Awoken or Rare Umbra? Awoken is more of the heals and draw category. I think we want Umbra... Trample is actually super nice for us, um, because it's going to make our robot uh, able to deal with wider waves. Yeah, I, I think we got a, a super good thing going here. You're going to add trash to our deck? It, it's worse because our deck is small, but dude, this is a really, really good small deck. I apologize for the light coming through on my face as well. <laughs> Just happens around this time. Okay, so... We didn't get the robot. You're going to do some damage, but not enough to be overly concerned. We're going to get the Crucible Warden out here. You guys are going to blow yourselves up. That's fine. Um, really just needed to hit either of you. Um, so our Pyre will take some damage. I accept it as the cost of doing business. Still early. I mean, this is not a great turn either, quite frankly. We need you out here ASAP. Um... But we also, like, Ember Forge is a pretty essential part of the plan. So our Pyre's taking a beating early here. But this this is just the price you have to pay to get the to get this stuff handled. So we, we got a pretty horrible uh, deck right here. You need to get destroyed. Um, you need Trample. Then Mind Collapse. We really... Wait, we can play it for zero. So I think you go here, here... You play it for zero to stop you from adding more garbage to our deck. These guys will handle next floor. I'm just happy we were able to get that out of our deck, but it, it is at the point where it's starting to become a very considerable problem. Luckily, we should be kind of out in front of it now, is the idea. So you're not going to add anything to our deck. We don't need to sweat that. We can instead just play these down here. And... Uh, so we can't even fit anything on that floor yet, which is fine. What that means, though, is that we know we love Morsel Miner. I would get rid of these, though it pains me. Shroud Spike is not as good anymore, which is good to know. So we'll just get these two out here, and then we know we want that. So we, we've, we suffered one major loss on this one, and I'm not sure if you can see what it is clearly, but we didn't get to play Razor Sharp on our champion before they got eaten all that time. So that, that would have been extremely sick, but that didn't happen. So the second floor is just a complete disaster. <laughs> um, we don't really care about you, though. Like, we don't care about the, the, the Alabaster Guardian, so I think we just want to sting here. Um, you're, you're doing great, but we could play an Awoken on you for sure. In terms of Crucible Collection, I don't think we actually have to play it here.
So this is non-negotiable. Because this costs one, we're going to play it. We're going to play one of these. But our pyre is getting bodied. <laughs> this is where your trampled strats are supposed to come in. We're still not quite getting the kill, but like things are going to move real fast here. So we know we love this. Get that out there. Um, with trample, this will add 10 damage to the unit behind it, which is fine. We need you to die early. That's the most important thing. Or, or you, for that matter. Um, and we can't get both, which is a real is a real bummer. So I think this for sure is insanely important. We we should go for you first because you're gonna add that damage to our pyre. Um, still think I'd rather do this. You're gonna hit our pyre as well. Like our this is the closest in a long time we've come to losing uh, on on Covenant rank ten. We got a seven win streak that I, I'm quite pleased with. Nothing to use with Shroud Spike, huh? What what a bummer, dude. And no way to hit. Well, actually, we could hit you with the Razor Sharp. <laughs> Whether that's the the right decision or not this is a very interesting get out of here, dude. It's better, I think, to get rid of two of these. We gotta stop the bleeding at some point. Okay, so you're taking one, two, two. Not great here. This is for all the marbles. We gotta make sure we're in front of this. I would probably ice you with a zero cost Mine Lord here. Um, so the sting makes the most sense here, weirdly enough. Um, there is no zero cost. So honestly, we're going heavy here. Heavy here. Crush you. Get rid of this. All right. So it is all going to come down to our robot. I honestly think there's a pretty realistic chance we lose here. There will be no mind collapsing. I think the, the setup... How much are you going to get two feedings out of that? I think our 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 health of our um, of our uh, pyre doesn't matter that much right now. I think getting that extra heal is worth a lot. Um, and then this will trigger zero times, which obviously sucks. So we'll give you that instead. And then we might as well play this for zero. This will be mighty interesting. You are dying. It's relatively close, closer than it's been in a while. So we gotta find something here. I'm I'm very hopeful, obviously, that the stats from our uh, from our uh, new boss or new champion, I should say, will will do great work for us. Quick is is actually what we need, even more so than shroud mitosis. I think we we called it. We called it. Um, we certainly don't need more draw. Draw seems fine right now. If anything. Uh, I think energy is a little bit more important. Capacity is tempting, but we really don't use it that much after, like, the first four turns of battle. So, I, I really wanted some pyre health. Do we need unit upgrades? We really only have one space remaining on our robot, but it's pretty good, but I think an extra relic might be worth a lot more. Um, the, the problem is if we summon a morsel on ev a morsel miner on every floor... We won't be able to fit some stuff. So I think we have to go Priory's Cloak. It's not horrible. It's really not what we wanted. Holdover seems pretty pretty great here. Um, like, Holdover Razor Sharp. Especially if we make it cost zero. Seems disgustingly great. And hold the, the normal problems with Holdover no longer seem to apply. I don't know about that. <laughs> no longer seem to apply. Um, I think we're going to save up and, and buy some, some relics next time, maybe. Dude, I don't know. I think the other root seeds should go. I'm kind of tempted to cut our stings as well. You know what? Can I be honest with you? I'm kind of tempted to cut Shroud Spike. I don't know. Yeah, one day we're going to have the energy base required to make it work. I think we can cut our basic sting. 
We're getting a little bit cut happy here. Snip, snip. I want to cut it off, by the way. Is damage shield not a status effect? Like, am I losing it? Maybe we'd be better off having more buffet for our for our robot to really pop off. This is now, like, we're not memeing anymore. We're in full-on, like, survival mode. We will not turn on armor 20. Just, like... Need to find a way to make it all tick a little bit better. So the row is non-negotiable. That's what you play right there. Um, and then, actually, we got a pretty good setup down here. Certainly, we do not mind getting that out there. We know the self-mutilation is coming, but it is what it is. So your Ember Forge, we, we have some non-negotiable cards. Trample is another non-negotiable. We're probably going to mind collect... Oh, uh, you know what? Razor Sharp on you is non-negotiable. Um, I hate the idea that you're going to add two pieces of garbage to my deck. You need Trample. Yo, you're getting e killed by this guy, so we don't need to worry about it. So we should instead make sure that one of you dies. And you're going to die next turn. So let's make sure that you don't keep going here. That's the ticket right there. But the number of times that Shroud Spike has been useless for us is, is devastating for sure. So you need quick. You need this. Um, you need quick. It makes the most sense to give you the Crucible extension as well. Um, now Plink is like, I, I really want to get you. Probably most important to try to get you. We're gonna get you. It was a little roundabout. <laughs> but we got there. Um, robot, by the way, might be starting a little bit slow. You might be looking at it like he's not doing that much. I promise you that is not the case. He's, he's getting... Dare I say his gourd is being pogged right now. And again, we're going pretty heavy on like getting the robot powered up to stop as much damage up here as possible. Um, we rarely are summoning like any morsels down here. So we can feed eight times. I would like to remove the pyre damage. You're still doing fine. I think we'd rather have you just immediately feed six times. You are getting the kill now, which is awesome. And you're still feeding here a few times. You gotta die. And then we got a crucible extension. Probably made more sense on the top floor, but I was like, ah, in the interest of fairness. As if this guy has any feelings. Alright, so this is things are getting interesting now for sure. You're still pogging, but that's going to be even better. And remember, you're quick, which is very important for us here. Now, sting, we're going to sting you. We got a lot of healing here, which is awesome. And then we got two morsel miners. Um, I think at this point, maybe it makes sense. To get this going, it might seem like the Morsel Miners do more on the top floor. And they do. But on the other hand, uh, it, the longer we make things happen down here, the more leeway we've got to get a lot of feeding going on up here. You know what I mean? Yeah? No? Okay. Cool. And we're still going to play Razor Sharp, like, pretty much every turn. You are doing 300 damage before anybody hits you at all. Um, Mine Collapse, we're going to use it on a unit that is not going to live anyway, but we should really do it like this... Uh, and then we can't do anything with Shroud Spike, which is fine. I think this is a better setup. So we're doing 317 down here, which is not necessarily incredible. Um, but again, we get a lot more time to set up properly. Every damage shield is... It's going to make you stronger, but it's also going to apply um, 70 more damage. So I think it makes the most sense... Got more than 70 damage, actually, because of the stats as well. Um, well, you need this more than anybody. There you go. Well, it actually uh, made you take less damage, but... Uh, oh, because of the, the Priory's Cloak probably made us die one turn faster, maybe? I don't know. Uh, so now, this is... It's all about you. We gotta do 700 damage. Probably not worth stinging. But I'm, I'm unconcerned, honestly. I do wish I could get a Morsel going here, but... Might as well get some regen. Doubt that's going to be relevant, but... Right, and we only got to hit you for two turns. So the fact that you're taking... I, I didn't realize, okay? I didn't realize you had nine damage shield. Sure. So we got like, you know, 3,600 damage where you can't hurt us at all. That's that's fine. Um, 
I think we can find a place for Feast, even though we are low on morsels. We, we really are lower on morsels than I'd like to be. But I feel pretty good. I wouldn't mind some Pyre health. I think Pyre health is the way we're going to go here. And then let's see what we got here. First time each turn a friendly unit is healed, draw one. These are interesting, but I don't think they're good enough. Although, admittedly, eating to kill a unit at the back is, is kind of interesting for sure. Um, we can afford it, but we probably can't afford it and a reroll. So the free energy is nice. You know what? I think this is just it. That makes Shroud Spike disgusting. And then this solves any energy-related problems and also feeds into our... Um, Shroud Spike, honestly, because we'll get extra energy off of it. So, spell cards get consumed. That is dangerous. We, we don't have that many spells in our deck. We do have some spell cards that already have consumed, which is great news. <laughs> so, Alloyed Construct, Primordium. That's a gimme. Um, we definitely want you to have Trample. How much damage are you putting out here? Not enough to be that concerning, so we're going to get that out there. I really don't want our Gorger to die, but if it happens, it happens. So something's being consumed here. I would say you can definitely consume a Crucible Extension. And we can summon two units this turn. So we'll get a Crucible Extension. We're going to summon, because you're not an Encanter, two making a Morsel somewhere to get some extra energy back. How much damage are you taking? 10, 12, 3. Awake will keep you alive. So they will put one up here. One down here. There's three energy. Awake will keep you alive. And then... You might as well feast early. I'm just seeing who should feast early. You Why are you taking none? That's what's... Oh, because you're still dazed. We, we would actually rather not feast on you too early up here because we want you to get as many razor sharps as possible. So, so that that's actually pretty sick. All right, so we should be drawing Razor Sharp very shortly. Thankfully, we, we got it right away. Uh, it is going to get consumed, but we're going to consume the quickness instead, obviously. And then Razor Sharp. Even if you guys live, it's more important for us to get this out here. Um, you're, you're doing fine. Probably want to kill you, because you're going to hit our Pyre. Um, so we'll do this. This. This, and then this. You're still going to live to hit our Pyre, but this is okay. And you're still doing relatively fine. <laughs> it's it's delicate. It's it's much less of a wombo combo than we've had recently, um, and we drew two of those, which is always like it it hurts. It hurts a great deal, but our robot is definitely starting to get highly poggy. You're not dying, which is pretty sick. You're definitely in a rough spot for next turn, but our robot. Is getting mighty close to not having any problems whatsoever. 10, 10, 3. So awake will keep you alive. Are we going to summon two units per turn? Yes, we are. By the way, I'm like, dude, I think I've just consumed like all my most valuable spells. But anyway, so you're getting out here and dying. And there's not much we can do about that, but thanks for the energy. <laughs> we definitely do not mind consuming Plink. And if we get some morsels out of it, even better. So we got a Lifesteal Morsel. I am like, you know, you could keep our Energy Forge alive, but I don't think we need energy. I really don't. Um, so if I summon you, you're going to get out here, and that will be good. Um, but right now you are... Oh, but we're going to awake you. So, okay, we're going to give you some Lifesteal. Thanks for the energy. We're definitely going to awake you. Get this trash out of my deck. You're all fine. I don't mind if you die. You're going to hit our Pyre. But for now... It is what it is. Losing Razor Sharp is a big part of our game plan gone, though. That's, that much is, is very clear. So Feast is totally useless here. I, I think if I had to call it right now, I would suggest we're probably in lost territory. Um, I think it's most important that we don't get more trash in our deck. But I could be wrong. Remember, your spells are getting consumed. We do have like a nine card deck. So what do we want to be consumed here? I mean, honestly, losing a mind collapse is not that bad. Actually, you know what? I hate to say it. Losing a feast is not that bad. Get out of here. Um, you're only losing seven. 
I think it's like we're, we're in heavy like morsel miner and then incredible shroud spike territory. This is the way to compensate for the fact that we no longer have um, razor sharp. And then a mine collapse on you. You're doing great up here. But then, you know, we got to keep it moving. You're, you're our bread and butter here. The quickness and the trample, it, it's given us a, a genuine chance. Whatever we play first is going to get consumed. Um, so I hate... You die. You die. Oh, because you're on the final wave. That makes sense. Well, you know what? Let our pyre take some damage then. And I'm like, dude... Straight up. I think we're kind of just in it here. Genuinely. I am thinking about, like, what if I gave you a damage shield times 12, but... I think we're going to let it ride here. We're going to consume making a morsel in order to get a 10 times shroud spike going here. I don't know if we're going to be strong enough to kill the boss, but we're, we're, we're putting it all on the line for the robot here. So what gets removed here? We should remove this, because there is a chance that making a morsel uh, will be drawn next turn with Shroud Spike, which would be sick. Would be genuinely sick. So this should be interesting. <laughs> we totally gotcha. Um, I don't want to say I told us so, but you know, this is this was by far our scariest run. But we, we put it together, dude. We got it working. I'm a, I'm a happy camper. Might as well toss. I mean, I don't know why we're doing anything. This is a weird one, and I still feel like I need to learn more about the Umbra champion to really understand them. But they did give us a good chance to buff our, our robot here. A unit that we almost didn't take, but I'm very, very, very glad we did. Um, to, to push that Covenant 10 win streak to, to 8. And it, it wasn't even that scary at the end of the day. We only took 20 pyre damage, even though we didn't know what we were doing at all. Um, and hey, man, Emberforge. Finally, with the Goldie. We've applied twice as much fuel as ever before in our lives. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Keep clicking the like button. It helps out a great deal. And uh, I'll keep doing it as long as you keep laughing. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya.